Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the new Harrow's Damon the Heat Hetter darts which were recently released. So let's check them out. So these are the 23 gram version, the 90% tungsten. They're also available in 21 and 25 gram in steel tip but there is no soft tip and they retail for £42.95. So as you can see it comes in the typical Harrow's slimline packaging and you've got your nice picture on the back of the darts and quite a lot of the brands seem to be having this kind of like glossy effect on the packaging now. Um, inside you've got a hard plastic Harrow's case and the darts come supplied with the signature Damon Hetter prime 100 micron flights and they come fitted with the um, Harrow's Alamo stems which is nylon and alloy and you've also got the little point protector. The darts fit with a black coated point and it's a torpedo style barrel and um, got a tapered nose, a smooth tapered nose there and on the front half you've got this kind of a mix of kind of scalloped bands with very fine rings in between and little grooves in between each band it's not massively grippy there but uh, it does feel very nice in the fingers um, now when I've looked at the pictures on the internet I've seen pictures where Damon Hetner looks to be holding the dart in the middle and other pictures where he's looking at the front so I'm not 100% sure whether he's a front and mid gripper but it does seem strange that it's got the grippiest section on the rear so maybe he just switches depending on where he's aiming I know some players do that but either way I'm a front gripper so I quite like the feel of it there probably would prefer just a touch more grip there but it does feel nice in the fingers around the middle it's uh, two wide smooth bands and then on the rear it's a thin uh, ring grip style so there's a little bit of something for everyone but in terms of grip level I think rear grippers have got the most grip there's the wide kind of scalloped bands at the front with the thin rings and grooves and then around the middle you've got some plain flat rings and then on the rear it's a thin normal ring grip but uh, looks a nice shape and it's got that nice deep black PVD coating and there's the Alamo stems nylon on the bottom and alloy on the top and they're not actually spinning stems hey Rocky <laughs> Rocky's coming in he's telling me where's my food it's nearly half past five and I haven't had my food I'm coming in a minute so although these are not what you would class as spinning stems they do turn a little bit can you hear his footsteps <laughs> And it's a rather nice set of Damon Hetter signature flights. The darts fit with a black coat 26mm point. There's a slightly tapered nose which is smooth. That's 7.3mm and then you've got these bands with the kind of a scallop and the thin rings and grooves. They're 12.8mm and then some normal wide flat bands 7.3mm. On the rear it's mostly made of this thin ring grip which is 17.6mm and then you've got a small smooth section of 5mm at the end. Length is 50mm the widest is 7.1 millimeters. Twenty three point zero nine grams, twenty three point zero nine grams again, and twenty three point zero nine grams. So perfectly matched. Full setup, 24.69 grams. 
With nothing attached the balance is front weighted and with the supply itself it moves to the center point and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Not a massively grippy dart so 6 is the highest and 4 is the least for the grip sections and obviously you've got one at each end so I'd probably say overall about 5.5 .5. I often prefer this kind of like front tapered style um, the only thing is with this one there's not a massive amount of grip where I'm holding it it's oh, two trebles there <laughs> um, those little rings I feel just a little bit of the edginess off them but um, overall I think I probably could do with a little bit more grip there but what I do like is it's got a fairly nice feel shape wise in your fingers um, kind of hard to explain it kind of like a mini scallop kind of a shape but feels quite comfortable grip wise but could probably just do with a little bit of a high level of grip and obviously it's front weighted so it's nicely balanced there for a front grip now the middle section I'm not sure where those uh, two flat rings are completely in the middle so I'm just gonna try and grip maybe just slightly above that and like I said I don't know exactly whether Damon Hetter is a front or a middle gripper I so a lot of the pitches was hard to see his grip properly but on some it looked like it was at the front and others it looked like it was in the middle but these darts have got the most grip on the rear so it's kind of got me confused to what it is I should send him a message and ask him <laughs> maybe he's one of them the players that just likes to move along the barrel whenever he feels like it <laughs> But quite nicely balanced there from the middle and obviously it gets a little bit thinner as you go towards the end but again it's dependent on what you prefer so the rear section has got the ring grip so that's definitely the grippiest part but it also gets thinner and it also feels a little bit more front heavy as you would expect Getting quite a bit of spin from that section. Yeah, I find it a little bit more difficult to throw from there. But if you're a natural rear gripper and you like this style of barrel, it's not going to be like that for you. There you, there you go. Let's check out the ratings. 
Got a nice deep black cotton and a very nice shape with an interesting front grip, some 8 for looks and grip, not massively grippy, so overall 5.5, weight match, perfect, so 10, quality 9.5, very good, and value, it's not bad at all, so 8. So, there you go, that's the Harrow's Damon Hetta darts, uh, a nice front weighted style. Nice pleasant feel on that front, but for me, I could probably do with a little bit more grip and it should work for front, middle or rear grippers. It just depends if you like a front weighted style of barrel, but definitely for rear grippers, you've got a little bit more grip there. Nice looking darts and I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and I'll see you on the next video. Happy darting.